Hello everyone. I want to share a prophetic word God gave me about emerging from lockdown. It's based on the story of Noah in Genesis 8 and uh, I felt God really spoke to me out of it about what we're going through as churches at this time. It's been like Noah and his family experience. They were locked into the ark for a year. It was noisy, it was smelly, it was difficult, it was busy. They had no means of navigation. They didn't know where they were going. They were at the mercy of the winds and the waves. And uh, it's been like that for us through this whole last year of the pandemic. But God remembered Noah. They were his covenant people. His eye was on them. He never neglected them. He'd led them into the ark and he kept his eye on them throughout that difficult year. And the Lord would say to you, it's the same for you and the same for me. His eye is on us. We are his people. He brought us into this situation and he will take us out of it. And that actually is the bit that I think God really spoke to me about. As the flood waters went down, Noah uh, was able to use his common sense, his judgment. He sent out a dove. He sent out a raven. He took the cover off and saw that the land was drying and the ark had settled. So there was lots of issues of judgment and calculation. And yet he waited for the Lord to tell him to leave the ark, which must be very difficult. It was a few more weeks, it would seem, of waiting until they left. And God would say, be careful, don't rush out of the lockdown. Seek my spirit. Let me guide you how to do it. Use your judgment, make calculations, assess what's happening, but also keep your eye on me and listen to me and my, my spirit's leading. And finally, when he came out of the ark, the first thing Noah did was worship. He worshipped properly with animal sacrifices. He hadn't been able to do that throughout that whole past year. He knew what proper worship meant because he knew the story of Cain and Abel. He knew all about the right sacrifices that needed to be made for sin. And uh, it obviously points us to Jesus. It points us to what we should prioritise when we come out of lockdown. Let's prioritise communal worship, worshipping together worshipping around the bread and the wine, focusing on Jesus. Maybe let's have communion more often and take longer over it. Let's make our contributions and our songs focus around simple, straightforward worship. That's the first and most important thing to do as we come out of lockdown. God bless you.